well, <laughs> seriously, we could have him, and he's right on a six yard. Not a player near him. I think we probably just didn't think he was going to get the ball was going to get to him, did he? But was oh, that was an absolute sitter. Yeah, he wouldn't want to see that one again. He's just uh, hitting himself, which in remonstration, not too happy with the. Uh, the effort. Terry Butcher will be furious at the marking though, David. The marking was awful. Up. It's one of the most dangerous guys. At a corner kick, isn't it, Big Xander? And the, 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 no one near him. So it remains 0-0 as Maguire tries to play the ball forward. Totally in there, but uh, it's picked up again by Michael Payton. Payton does well, just flicks it away from Doran, but can't keep the ball in play. <laughs> Throw in to Cali. Doran to Gili. Gili just takes himself away from uh, Chris Maguire but uh, picked up straight away by Maguire again Maguire with the outside of his foot comes off the head of Ross and uh, Marl's just sent us a text that he uh, had a fiver on Xander at first goal 25-1 to one. unlucky Marl <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. he also had a tenner on the Queen wearing a white hat yesterday and uh, lost that as well oh it's a header oh. by Blackman it was a cross in from Ryan Jack, out of nothing, and uh, Blackman just slipped in between the two defenders, got a good angle, and that went just over the bar. But, uh, yep, so uh, not having too much luck just now in the, with, the, with these flutters, is our mal. <laughs> betting, Astrid, betting, betting on the colour of the Queen's heart. Yeah. Which somebody told him then that, uh, obviously, you, uh, you don't, you can't do that, uh, because you don't, unless you're the bride, you're not supposed to wear white. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for you, isn't it? That's why he was getting such good odds, apparently. But uh, did they not think when you get good odds like that, that there's a reason for it? Do well, you? No. obviously not. No. Anyway, we've played 25 minutes. It's goalless here. Should be, should be two now at the dawns of fairness. Yeah, that was a Blackman. good effort from uh, Nick Blackman. Balls out for a throw-in, which will be taken by Alex McDonald on loan from Burnley on the far side and he's going to leave it to the former Aberdeen player Stuart Duff who's had a, enjoyed a good season with Inverness Cali Thistle never got much of a chance really here Dave did he under Mark McGee and he's, he's a guy similar well, to uh, comes um, across and Diamond this time with the headed clearance that's a corner kick I suppose similar to Derek Young perhaps yeah. suffers from being able to play in too many positions and uh, as we were mentioning on Friday Sport last night on North Sound 2 that Sometimes you can't make a position your own. No. But the guys at them are so useful because they can play in so many positions. That's a, the, Stuart's the same, and I think he's Terry Butcher I think he's a real asset to his squad. Shane Sutherland from the right hand side. It's a good one as well, and that's good defending by Derek Young. Back out again. There's a few heads going in for that one. Let's back out for another corner kick, which Sutherland will take again. Almost 27 minutes played from the Cali right left foot another in swinger and that was Milsom got a touch and uh, tricky that looked another for a corner, minute as though yeah. he was going to head that one back into his own goal it is a corner kick from the other side this time it's one of their strengths in Vernest Dave isn't it set piece he's got a lot of big guys on their side yep and it's uh, going to be Doran this time another Blackburn on Loney over it comes from Doran, and that's going to be cleared by. I never see the back point post. There we go. Oh, here comes a break. That's great. Fed through to Michael, Michael Payton from Chris McGuire. He's going to be one and one, and Ryan S is still Payton past the post. How did he miss it? Oh, it's a great opportunity there for Michael Payton, and uh, somehow. It was a great ball through for quick thinking. Brilliant, because Chrissy actually got he, he got a, a, a knock as well, Dave, when he was sticking it through. It was a good ball. But Michael, was, he showed all the composure he needed there, steadied himself, and I think he hit it with, a, with outside his foot, Dave. I just had a text to say the sad news that Eddie Turnbull has passed away, former Don's manager oh, and uh, Hibbs manager. I interviewed him a few times and uh, a great guy. Never had the pleasure to meet him, Dave, but he was an absolute legend. Yeah, it was, it was so very sad news indeed. A real shame. Here we've played 28 minutes. It's 0 0. And uh, the Dons really 
should be ahead. It's three cracking chances in the last what, five minutes, Dave. They really should be ahead, and it's, you wonder if Inverness haven't really woken up so far in the game. There's a couple of corner kicks, but they've not really troubled Jamie at all. You, can't, you need to take some of these chances. But I mean, in fairness, they're, they're at least are creating them. They're playing good football as well. Yeah, here come Inverness. That's a good cl heady clearance by Vujadinovic, but it's picked out again. Excellent play by Aluko. Plays the ball off Duff, and that will be a throw-in over on that far side crowd is 6,200 there are 300 Cali fans here this afternoon here's the Dons with Chris Maguire ball. plays it across to Peyton as you mentioned earlier Stephen he's always willing to get the ball no matter yeah, what's he's happened he's head, he always gets his head up and just has another run he might get beat oh, Milsom loses out and then goes Derek Young Milsom again with chances a right battle with the ball and he gives away the free kick and that'll be a free kick for Inverness. And it's played forward and that missed by Xander Diamond eventually it runs through to um, Langfield. He launches it long, Monroe gets his uh, clearance all wrong. And that's a long clearance. And now here comes Inverness with a chance to break down the right hand side played into mcdonald who evades two challenges gets it ball back here's sutherland comes off milsom gets the ball into the middle of the second attempt rooney's in there still adam rooney across it comes and that's into the arms of uh, goalkeeper jamie langfield still not a safety mate jamie he did well coming out to get that but some sloppy defending there the Fyodinovic ball watching for a second and they, they just managed to get him, beat him to it but they, they need to wake up the Dons, the Inverness are a dangerous side they might, they could be sitting here and hit you on the break, it just takes one chance they need to be careful the Dons, they're the better side by a mile but they're still nil nil Stevie Smith's just uh, hauled back Shane Sutherland and uh, I think uh, he knew what he was doing there did, uh, did Stevie, that'll be a free kick in the uh, inside the Cali half but uh, the game, of course, so overshadowed by that uh, really sad news that uh, Eddie Turnbull has, has passed away. Yeah, it's one of the legends of football, Dave, isn't it? And it's so sad when someone with that stature dies. And so many, he's brought so many good memories to so many fans. Oh, here come Inverness. The ball's played into Cox. It Oof. took a deflection. I'm not sure it wasn't a Cali player that took him off and took the heat off it and into the arms of Langfield. Out it goes to Peyton. Now finds Chris Maguire. Maguire goes for... A run with the ball, goes, takes the ball away, then switches it out to the left to Nick Blackman. Blackman picks it up, face, faced with Tokley, plays it to Milsom. Milsom now to Aluko. Aluko on his right foot, tries to get it onto his left foot, threads it through to Payton, and then Payton out to Smith. That's good play by Michael Payton. Smith tries across, takes a deflection, picked up by Ross, and Ross with time just to clear it down to McDonald. Cross comes for Yudinovic, good Such defending shame, again. Stevie Smith couldn't get that in, Dave. There's four, four Dons players right in the box waiting. It's not often they've got that many in the box. And that's going to be a throw-in to Inverness over on the far side. And will be taken by Stuart Duff. Duff back to Tokley. Charged down well by Chris Maguire, and that'll be a throw in 32 and a half minutes played. Aberdeen nil, Inverness, Cali Thistle nil. But uh, the Dons must be wondering why it is still Aberdeen nil because uh, they've had a few chances now. It's been a symptom of the season, Dave. There have been a lot of games like this we saw Aberdeen playing and they haven't. They haven't taken the lead when they've when had the ascendancy in games and it's come back to Hotham. Let's hope that doesn't happen today, but when you three really guilt-edged chances they've had in this match and they haven't taken any. There's Shawnee Luko just uh, charging down the clearance from Duff, picking up the ball, then plays it long, but that's uh, overhit and will run through to Ryan Essen in goals for Inverness. Cali Thistle. Here 
Essen just plays the ball way out of his area. Blackman thinks about going towards him, but then uh, Essen launches it long. It beats Sutherland and Smith. Cross comes Vujadinovic, and that ball goes out of play, and that will be a throw-in to the home side. Aberdeen nil, Inverness, Cali Thistle nil. Smith will take the throw. Down the line it goes. Tokley's there again. He heads it back to Monroe. Monroe in turn knocks it back to Essen. Essen clears it. Up goes Young. Only as far as Gilly. Back to Jack. Jack oh. forward. That was offside. Oh, that was tight, Dave, I tell you. Well, flag went up very quickly and it was Chris Maguire obviously not too impressed with the decision there. It was, I thought... Uh, I thought it was very tight. It was, it was tight. Ryan Jack with the headed ball. We're right in line with that, Dave. I know. Got a pretty good view and I, I didn't even think about offside in that one. Free kick taken by Ryan Essen, Inverness goalkeeper. Headed on by Sutherland and that's allowed to run out of play and that will be a goal kick to the Dons with 10 minutes of the first half remaining and they do need to uh, as I say a point in terms of if, they, if there's any chance whatsoever of getting a best place finish which would be 7th uh, they do need to take the 3 points in this one they just need to get 3 points anyway David regardless of that it's been so long since the fans have seen them win yeah, it's just they're getting into that rut again that they don't want to do. And it, although the season's ending, it's going to be a different team. But you don't want to get into the, the end of the season on a downer, Dave. You want to try and get a wee bit, of, a wee bit of a lift, a wee bit of momentum going to take into next season. Derek Young with the throw, headed on by Peyton. Monroe and Maguire. Maguire gets in ahead of him, oh. and that comes off the post. Back to Nick Blackman. He tries the shot, and that's going to be a goal kick. But. Uh, Maguire there with his persistence. Grant Monroe should have had that ball away, but Chris Maguire just simply never gave up, and it came but must have came off the post at a ridiculously acute angle. Fell back to Blackman, who fair play hit it to pretty truly, but yeah. in fact there's there's obviously has been an infringement of some description because uh, the ball's not, not a goal Chrissy? kick. Well, it must have been offside yeah. for somebody, I would have thought. But uh, that's the only thing it could have been. Mm. But, so it wouldn't have counted had it mm. gone in, but uh, that was Chris again. Chris has had good. good game, Dave. He's, he's, he's looked really dangerous again, and he's you know, out of play again off Grant Munro. Throw into the Dons down in front of us. Of course, the whole of the Aberdeen back four could well not be here next season, along with Blackman. Well, I think I don't and think Maguire and Aluko. Yeah. So it's that could be. It's a massive rebuilding yep. job that Craig's got in the summer, Dave. That's why he wants to try and get things done as quick as possible, because I think the season starts 20, 23rd of July, 23rd of July, yeah. yeah. It's no time at all. Here's Maguire. Under pressure from McDonald, plays it to Blackman. Blackman across to Milsom. Milsom forward to Jack. Jack with the outside of his foot to Stevie Smith. Smith wide in that left, knocks it back to Milsom. Let's get the ball into the box, into Jack again. Jack back to Rob Milsom, Aluko. Sean Aluko cuts inside. Nice play, finds Peyton. It's a ball. Peyton's got Young free on the right. He's continued with his run. It's still Derek Young now to Maguire. Maguire tries to get space for himself. Ball comes back to Milsom. Milsom plays it out to Michael Peyton on the right. He's got Gilly in front of him. Gilly gets a foot in only as far as Young, though. Back to Maguire. Maguire with a Quick one-two for Derek Young. Young tries to get the ball into the middle. Gets that one a bit wrong, to See, say the he's least. Trying to do there, yep. He's trying to get it in as quick as possible just to catch the Inverness players out. But Net result is a goal kick. Nearly three points in a rugby <laughs> Yeah. So, nil-nil here. I'm not sure if you're any joy getting... I um, seem to be not managing to get scores. any uh, oh, scores. Yeah, yeah, let's see. We seem to always go into t sort of a... Uh, after the first half has started, uh, can't get on as a free kick is given against Chris Maguire. Free kick to Inverness just inside their own half.
and it's going to be Grant Munro, the centre back for Inverness Cali Thistle, to take it. Played long, but only as far as Stevie Smith. Then Milsom knocks it forward to Aluko, still in his own half, runs across the halfway line now. It could be a break on here for the Dons. Milsom out to the left, that's where the, the ball goes still. Rob Milsom knocks it into the middle. Gilles there first, he heads it clear. A race between Cox and Jack for the ball. It is Jack who gets it back to Milsom again. Now back to Ryan Jack, needs to get this ball into the middle. The players are still in there and it is into the middle, but that's easy for the goalkeeper. Sodje scored for Hibs, Dave, after 23 minutes against St. Johnson. They're one up against St. Johnson. That's the only other goal out yeah. of uh, the three games. It's kicked off at three o'clock. No surprise that St. Johnson aren't the ones to get the goal. No. Right? Just if Aberdeen are trying to buy a goal in uh, St. Johnson, <laughs> they've got no money to even... Uh, it's over a thousand minutes since they last scored. Threaded through there by Aluko, but uh, that's straight to Ross Tokley. Tokley forward to Sutherland, back to Tokley. Sutherland, again, out on the left. Knocked away by the head of Xander Diamond, but picked up by Cox, and across to Gilles. Gilles forward to Sutherland, but intercepted by Michael Payton. And Derek Young plays it to Milsom. Milsom back to Vujadinovic, and out to the left back, Stevie Smith. Aluko's made a run, but to into Blackman it goes, Blackman just chests the ball, that's a great turn by Blackman, he looks as though he was caught there but he got there and offside, uh, Aluko's yeah. in an offside position so he can't go for that one and that allows the ball to run through to Ryan Essen who in turn plays it to Grant Munro and now Gilles back to Tokley Tokley to Duff forward from Duff and headed back to Langfield nicely from Nikola Vujadinovic. We're inside the final five minutes here. Nil-nil. And it's going to be another throw-in. As we've been mentioning, just in case you are just joining us, the sad news this afternoon that former Dons and Hibs boss Eddie Turnbull has sadly passed away. Here come the, the Dons, so out to... Michael Payton. Payton goes for a run, can't get past Sutherland, good defending from the youngster. Clears it, but again only as far as Derek Young, always willing, forward from Young to Maguire. Maguire turns and then shoots on the turn. Not that far away, but... No. Uh, Fair play to Michael again though, David, when I mean, he's not a lot of change out there, the guys at Sutherland or Julie on the but he still just wants to have a go, he doesn't, he doesn't get down, he just still, still wants to have a go at them. Yep. Just run at them all the time. And uh, well, half time fast approaching, 42 minutes played. Still Aberdeen nil, Inverness nil. With a decent performance, David, only having wrong them taking their chances. It could, it could be a comfortable lead if they had. Rooney, I just uh, a judge to have uh, fouled there, and that will be a free kick which Langfield takes. Plays long, again looking for Maguire. Maguire comes off the back of his head and goes out of play. Chris seems to think it was uh, Gilles who got the last touch, but uh, assistant doesn't agree, and it will be a throw-in for Inverness. Cali Thistle straight to Peyton. Peyton over his shoulder. Tokley just clears it. Another throw-in. We were what it be the last couple of minutes, Dave, just down this end. Hopefully they can create an hour chance and this time put it in the back of the net because they deserve to be in front. we a better side by a mile. Jamie could have had a deck chair out today. He's had absolutely nothing to do. A couple of cross balls and that's it. Still remains nil-nil, of course. And when it is nil-nil, you just worry. <laughs> to yeah. all We've the seen good it so many times, yeah. haven't we? Here's Ryan Jack. Offside. Offside against Derek Young. And that was... Uh, Silly out, silly pass from Ryan. Aye, and, and Derek, I think, just indicating that he was telling mm -hmm. Ryan, don't hit it back. Yeah. Well, the, the chance he could have put it in the box, Dave, because Ryan's got a good crosser of the ball. It was a good position for him. Yeah. Ryan Essen will take the kick. Just a minute and a half plus stoppage time, of which there won't be too much, if any. Essen, left-footed, launches it long. Here's McDonald. Uh, Use his yeah. hand and it's taken quickly to Milsom. 
Milsom does very well indeed, just takes himself away from two Inverness players, then plays it long, headed away by Gilly, only as far as Jack. Jack forward to Maguire. Maguire, that's uh, taken late by Tokley there, but to play on. And it's out with Derek Young, wide on the right. Young forward to Maguire. He's continued the run, Derek Young, still Derek Young, and that's going to be a corner Unlucky kick, that Dave. was good play. Good football, yeah, a lovely pass from Chris, the back heel. It was a good run from Derek, and I, think, I don't know whether he was trying to shoot or whatever, but uh, Don's got a corner, that's probably the last kick of the ball, I'd imagine Dave just about, well, yeah. not long, last minute, 45 seconds to go. Let's hope it's as good a corner, here we go, shorty. Short to Jack, that's another oh, corner. Man. After his last corner, he, he should put it straight in the box, Dave was a belter. Yeah. Xander Diamond will still be wondering why he hadn't to... Uh, how, he, how he managed not Xander to put it them again. It's, I think he's almost tried to place it, I think, and placed it past the post. Corner kick number three will be taken once the ball has come back. And it will be Chris Maguire to take it. And I think this will be the last action yeah. of the half. Maguire over deep this time, and it beats Diamond again. And it's in fact, there goes yeah. the half-time whistle. So no goals, Stephen, but the Dons hopefully will not be made to rue these missed chances. Been an entertaining game, Dave. Aberdeen by far the better side. I mean, four or five really good chances. They should be cut at least a couple of goals up. They aren't. James had nothing to do, and I don't think some... I thought it was a wee bit of bother with Josh. He's somebody he knows from, obviously, he's card off days. I thought it was... <laughs> Down there in the it's tunnel. Johnny Tuffy, uh, they both play for Northern Ireland, Northern of course. Ireland, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was having a goal in there, I was like, oh, here we go. But no, it's, it's been a good performance, Dave, and more of the same second half, the goal will come. And, uh, of course, just again to remind you the, the very sad news that uh, former Aberdeen manager and Hibs manager Eddie Turnbull has passed away earlier on today. We'll be back with full second half commentary in around about a quarter of an hour, but for the moment, half time here at Pataudry, goalless Aberdeen nil, Inverness Cali Thistle nil. Cleared. 